when we're talking about percentages, there are, are really three basic questions that you can be asked. And I've got all three of them here. Uh, and what's nice about them is they all take a very similar approach when it comes to their solutions. Right? So what I'm going to do is I'm really going to do the same basic thing on all three. I'm going to replace what with a variable. I'm going to replace of with multiplication. I'm going to replace is with equals and numbers stay the way they are. Right, so look at this first one, for example. What percentage of 6 is 8? Well, what percentage becomes x of is multiplication? 6 is 6. Is becomes equals. And again, 8 is the number, stays the way it is. All I got to do is solve this equation. Right, if we divide both sides by 6, we get x equals 8 divided by 6 which is 1.3333 is repeating decimal. All right, now that's not the answer. Though. You do have to be a little careful with these. Uh, this question asks for a percentage, right? and that's not a percentage. That's the decimal version, right? So to get this to a percentage, remember we talked about this in the, in the previous lecture, uh, I'm just going to multiply it by 100, right? So that's going to take the decimal point, move it two places to the right, and we get 133.33. And there you go. There's my answer. And right, look, look at the next one. 42% uh, of 9 is what? Right, so the first thing I'm going to do, I, I, I'm going to bring this 42% down. But remember, we never want to use a percentage in a calculation. right? So instead of 42, I'm going to use the decimal equivalent. I'm going to do 0.42 times 9 is, that's the equals, what number that's going to be. X, and then there, there's really no solving for this one per se. All I'm going to do uh, is the arithmetic. 40, uh, 0.42 times 9 is 3.78, and that's it. There's my answer. Right now for the next one, 110% uh, of what number is 12? Well, 110%. Same thing I did with the 42. I'm going to move the decimal point. This becomes 1.10 of is multiplication. What is the variable? Is is equals, and 12 just stays 12. Now, if we divide both sides by 1.1, we get 12 divided by 1.1, which my calculator tells me is 10.91. And there's my answer. Right? There's my answer for all three questions. So what I want you to notice here, some similarities between these. Uh, they all have two things multiplied together equals a number. And the only thing that really changes is the position of the x. Right? The x moves to all three of the possible places that it can be in that equation over the course of these three different problems. And now, some people, they'll do these by setting these up as, as a proportion, and that's fine. If you've seen that approach, it's more familiar, you're comfortable with it, absolutely go with that. Uh, I like to do it this way because it's, it's just translating the sentence into English, uh, translating the English into math. You don't have to worry about trying to remember where the X goes and which part of, of the proportion that you set up. I think it's a little clearer this way, but like I said, if, if you're comfortable with the other method, uh, by all means, stick with it. So in the next little series of lectures, we're gonna look at some practical applications of these per, uh, percentages. Uh, to some ideas like uh, sales tax and uh, sales commissions. So if you like this video, Please go, don't forget to click on the like button down below. You can find the uh, link to the next video in the series right here on this page.